What's going on, peoples? Hello, hey, hi, it's me, Mr. 300 OG. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, feel free to check out some of my other videos. And if you're older here, if you've been around the block a couple times, if you're subscribed, I just want to say thank you. And I appreciate you for tuning back in. Today, I am going to be changing the oil on my CB650R. It's actually not due for an oil change for another 4,000 miles, according to the Honda manual. Let's see, right now I'm at 39.27. But I've noticed that while I'm riding, the bike doesn't feel as it should, you know? It doesn't feel normal. It feels a bit sluggish, and it's also much louder. And I was curious, so I read up, I googled how to know if your bike needs an oil change. And one of the points that they mentioned in various articles was that you'll notice that the bike sounds different. They said that you'll notice that the bike sounds and feels like it's metal rubbing on metal. And my bike feels like that. As I said, it's not due for an oil change for another 4,000 miles, but um, I'm not gonna wait to 4K to change this. We're gonna get that done today. So right now I'm about to catch some speed so I can warm up the oil, which is always recommended before you conduct an oil change. Now that we got all our tools ready and we got the oil warmed up, the first step is to remove the drain bolt plug. And to do that, you're gonna need a 12 millimeter wrench. Let's get it. Bike is on a stand. You can do this without a stand, but I find that it actually helps to use the stand. And this is the first time I'm using a stand. I'm kind of nervous because I couldn't get the spools on. So if this mother slips and my kickstand is up, it's right here. I'm gonna get this in position. Get this on there. And this, you know, crank. There you go. Oh, oh, sh. Well, see that? Totally missed the mark. That's cool. <laughs> this is my first time changing the oil on the CB6 and I didn't know which way it's gonna shoot out, but as you can see, I totally kind of missed the mark there. So uh, yeah, I had to get a cleanup crew in here. What you wanna do now is leave that to allow all the oil to drain out. Give it a few minutes so everything is completely done. You can even wiggle the bike to make sure everything comes out. Next step, we're gonna remove the oil filter, which is right here. Next step, we gotta get the oil filter cover off. Take your wrench, stick it in here, put it in there, and that should remove the oil filter. Get it pressed on and as snug as possible. Now we're just gonna twist it off. Twist off. There goes the rest of that dirty ass oil. They said 8K for an oil change, but definitely needed one. Way before that, because this oil is Wesley Snipes. Oh, there we go. I've never had to use an oil filter like this before. So I gotta say this is kind of cool. The CB3 had a cartridge 
filter. Oh god, this is oily and it's it, it, it's stuck. All right, cool. Give me a second while I figure this out. Now the oil filter remover is stuck to the oil filter. I couldn't get it loose by twisting it off with the, the rag. So what I'm gonna do now is just soap it up and hope that everything will disconnect. So I have washed this about three or four times and it's still not coming off. What I'm gonna do to get it off or try to get it off is I'm gonna put this back on and I'm gonna just try to tighten the oil filter on and then hopeful that the oil filter remover would then kind of loosen up. We'll see. After much tinkering and messing around, finally got the cover off. I gotta say, this is part of the reason why I'd rather pay the professionals to do these things. Like, yeah, it feels good to, to work on your bike and to do it yourself. <sighs> when you encounter random ass unforeseen problems like that, that shit could get a little bit annoying. <sighs> but whatever, back to the video. So I just left the motorcycle mall and I bought another oil filter wrench. This one is by a company I've heard before, Bike Master. So I hope that this will solve the problem. The one that I got, this one, I got off of Amazon and it was doing well. You know, it was doing its job until the oil filter came out. And then it was stuck to the oil filter. And then it's like, okay, I need to remove it from the oil filter. And as you guys seen, I tried washing it. I tried reinstalling the filter. And then I was thinking maybe I'll, you know, wrench it out the opposite way. But that didn't work. The cover, the cap seemed to have lost its, its grip. And so it was just aimlessly spinning around the oil filter and pissing me off. So I'm like, you know what? I thought about going to the, my local bike shop, having them do this. They won't be open tomorrow. They closed around 20 minutes after I had the idea. So they probably wouldn't have been available. Motorcycle Mall, I knew they were going to be closed tomorrow, which is a Sunday. And then on Monday. So I'm like, you know, if I didn't make this move now, I would not be able to possibly finish this project. So I'm going to go and try this. I will tell you guys, I'm a bit annoyed because it shouldn't have taken so much effort. It shouldn't have taken so much, but... What can you do, man? What what can you do besides continue? Either you continue or could give up and not finish what it is you want to do. But I'm not about that life, so I'm gonna head back home and figure this shit out. What's going on, y'all? It's actually surprisingly day two of changing this oil filter. This should not take this long. It should not, it shouldn't take this long, but I encountered a problem which I did not foresee and that was the old oil filter being stuck to the bike. As you saw in the video, it actually came loose, but the oil filter cap remover was stuck to the oil filter. And so I thought the only way to get that off because it didn't come off even after I used soap and water and washed it multiple times, I thought why not screw it back onto the bike and once the oil filter is tight, I could then nudge the oil filter cap remover off. That was a good idea until the oil filter got stuck back on the bike. And now the oil filter cap remover was just spinning around fruitlessly and not doing anything. I, in frustration, posted on my Instagram about my issue. I just, you know, was just trying to vent honestly. But thankfully, there's some good people out there who have encountered this problem and they sent me videos. So instead of me just shelving the project and waiting until Monday to go to my nearest shop, I'm gonna try the solutions. Although crazy, the solution that I was given was to stab the oil filter with a screwdriver and just manually twist it off. 
and let us see if this solution gets the job done. Because honestly, I'm just at my wit's end, guys. Like, I don't like giving up on things that I've tried and I've spent more than enough time on this. So let's just see if this works. We got the hole. All right, seems we have gotten some leeway on the filter. It's super punctured, but I'm gonna try twisting it off with my hand now and seeing if that will finally get this off. See how jacked up it is? Like, this thing put up a fight. Like, it does not wanna leave this bike. I get it, bro, but it's time to go. It's time to go. What the f come on. God, oh my God. Oh, y'all saw that? Just busted a nut. I just busted, there we go, more nut, more nut. This has been a day old nut. Just built up here. Final lead, Jesus Christ. Come off, come, damn. Y'all see this shit? Look at that. Jeez, bro. The most complicated filter ever. Now that the filter is finally off, we're gonna put on the new filter. Now they say in order to not have the same bullshit that just happened happen again, they say to line this up with some new oil. oil I have cleaned the housing out I tried to rid it as much as I can of the old oil so there's nothing dusty and crusty left over there we go Snug, get it tightened up by hand. Now that the new filter is on and I've tightened it by hand, I'm gonna take a wrench, 17, and just finish it off. There we go. Now yesterday, I was so preoccupied trying to get this off that I did not change the ring on this right here, so. I mean, excuse me, I did not change the washer on this drain plug right here. So I'm gonna take the drain plug out and put in a new washer. Mm. New bag of washers. All right, a little nice and snug. So what we're gonna do now is fill up the bike with some new oil. Get you a funnel, get that secured. The Honda manual says that we need three liters of oil. So what I'm about to do is just put all these bad boys in here and that should do it. Now that all the oil is in the bike, place the cover, screw it back on, and then you wanna just wipe off any oil that may have spilled on the side of your bike. After you put the oil on the bike and you wiped it off, the next step is to turn the bike on and make sure there's no oil leaks. Into neutral real quick.
fresh off that oil change first ride and the bike is already feeling so much better oh pulling like it's supposed to awake and alive and nourished I feel you babe let's see if we can get a decent pull right here Yes, an oil chain is what we needed for sure. Damn.